What's up guys, I'm back with another video on the boat rack. I'm just gonna show you my setup. About to take a fishing trip for probably the whole weekend, about two nights, three days. Um, should be a cool video if everything pans out right. Um, that should be out soon. But uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you the setup before I have to deflate this thing, roll it up and put it in the back of my truck. But we're gonna get a little walk around of the boat rack I'm set up. All right, first things first, let's start at the bow of this stand-up paddle board. As you can see, I have two paddles. I have a kayak paddle, and then I have my sup paddle that came with the board. Um, sometimes, you know, when it gets real windy, I like to sit down, and then I just use the, the kayak paddle. But most of the time, I'm standing up or sitting on the cooler, and I'm just going to use this sup paddle, uh, especially if it's not windy. Um, up front, you got your fill port here. Uh, and just so you know, it's 10 to 15 PSI. You got your paddle sheath here. It attaches with four, four uh, screws, bolts. And then I have a long bolt that runs from that side to this side with the lock nut on it. And that's basically, it's for the pedal drive, but all I use it for is to attach my battery I have my fish finder wire zipped up here. And this is usually a clear port or where your pedal drive goes. And currently I put a piece of starboard in here with a little bit of like marine mat material on top just to help pad it a little bit. And you see it add a little height right there with those. Um, allows these to lock and it doesn't wobble. But then I was able to put some Yak Attack track right there with a ram cup holder and I swapped out and put a little T-nut on it so it worked with the track. That's just drilled directly into the starboard material and I've got my Garmin fish finder here and then the transducer. Let me undo this. Everything comes right out. As you can see right there, transducer is just mounted on the bottom as well. And I have this, this is from the first prototype I did. I just unpeeled it and restuck it here and to kind of act this like some sound detonating on the bottom so it's not bouncing and rubbing against this plastic so bad that all works like a charm got my cup holder when i'm standing up i can see this even when i'm sitting down i can still see it and then i have the magnapod it's a magnetic speaker here you can also stick this bag to it this and this I got with the boat with the $100 gift card that I got when ordering this from boat. So it was on sale and they were offering a $100 gift card to their store. So I ended up getting this and this. This can also attach to the travel link, which I already had. Uh, that is what allows you to hook in here and here. And it's the same thing on the other side. And you can throw this whole board over your shoulder with that sling uh, if you have it really stripped down. Now on the other side, I do have my, my normal uh, little measuring board I usually put on all my kayaks and uh, sups if, if I have room. Um, and that's from Amazon. Uh, you can look that up. They have different patterns. That's just the redfish pattern. So this kind of acts as like a little dry box for my phone and keys and all that wallet, stuff like that. And it's easy access right between my legs. Um, that's uh, so I don't have to carry a measuring board. You want to keep it nice and light. And on this side, I have my power pole micro anchor. Um, the only reason I have this is because this is the ultralight, which is lighter weight. It's, it's a foot shorter than my super stick, which I do prefer the super stick. It's a lot stronger, but it's what I use on my boat. And uh, like boat, B-O-A-T, not B-O-T-E. Um, but the ultralight makes this an, you know, an ultralight package, which is kind of what you're going for with an inflatable stand-up paddleboard, simple and lightweight. So here for a seat, we have the Arctic Ultralight 32 just came out. Uh, not sure when, but I know it's, it's fairly new. And then for now, I just have my kayak cushion. I'll have it strapped. Like I said, I'm getting ready to pack this all in. So I'll have that strapped to the lid there. And I just have a basket and some ice packs 
inside the cooler and I use that as an actual cooler. Uh, we get back here behind the Arctic and I've got my cast king bag, my inflatable life jacket. This holds most of my tackle and all my tools, hooks and tools and fish grips and all that stuff. Um, sometimes that will be up here, uh, especially while I'm fishing. And then this is more like dry storage than a cooler. Like I just keep a spare paddle. This slides on. This is from Super Stick, but this slides on to an anchor pin and basically gives you a stand up paddle. I have a rod holder that kind of, this is a Yeti rod holder, but it does groove kind of into that groove there. And then I shove my camera pole in that on either side, uh, like I said. And then I've got my power pole remote, my power pole remote and an anchor battery just to keep this back camera going. And that all stays in there. And then it's just held down with the bungee system on the back. And then right here I have the PowerPole Micro Anchor um, that mounts right up and I have the battery. And then here's my Yak Attack Panfish Pro or whatever it's called. Um, I just took the, the base off and I can shove this down into that Yeti rod holder and it holds it really well. It's nice and tight. But yeah, so that is, it looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. Um, like I said, that's the ultralight cooler. So this cooler is way lighter than a normal Arctic or Yeti. And it works really well. I mean, it kept ice for two days. Um, you just keep it closed and it, it's fine. Um, and keep it as much as out of the sun as you can. That would be fine for a day cooler. I have used this for a cooler and I had a Larry chair here from when I was kayaking or using this as like a kayak more than a stand-up paddle board. And, uh, Anyway, this is now my dry box and rod holder. Got my tackle in that bag, easy to get to. All my cooler, my drinks, my fish. Um, I don't really keep freshwater fish, but when I'm saltwater, that's where the fish will go, as long as they're legal to keep. Um, and like I said, you got that fill port, and then there's one in the back. I believe it's underneath. Yeah, it's right there, underneath the, the dry box. Anyway, that's it. It's fairly simple um if you want i can do another video on the whole battery and fish finder setup more in depth about how i did it and why i did it um but it's easy to take off and chuck away and all this stuff's easy to take off the only screws i have to take out are literally this and the power pole micro and they're easy to install anyways guys hopefully that video was helpful if you own the boat rackham arrow and like i said stay tuned to the channel we do have a fishing trip coming up and hopefully I can put this thing to work and catch some fish I don't normally catch, uh, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next one.